Hey guys, in this video I want to show comment deletion in HTMX. I just click delete, we get a little pop-up here, and then you click OK, the comment disappears, and there's no page reload. Now let's jump into the code. This is my comment item template, and it has everything to do with a comment. You can see over here is talking about the comment date when it was posted, and there's this little edit button here, and this reflects here's the the user the date posted the comment content and here's that edit button and this delete button right here is a form we go in here and forms are really useful when you want to do actions like post um, or delete uh, where you're modifying content um, so yeah i guess let's first kind of go through it step by step um, I'm using HX delete and the docs for that. If you go to um, HX delete, it is an attribute in HTMX that allows you to delete an element. And you you say what you'd like to delete, and then um, there's some other properties you can add. So what we have here is it's it's pointing to, let's see, this is our comment right here, comment form. Our, comment delete form. Um, so it's the HX delete URL is pointing to this uh, view called comment delete and it passes that comment ID along with it. And then um, I found just through some Stack Overflow searches that in order to um, do it this way, um, you have to include the CSRF token in the HX headers. So normally you would see in a um, in forms you would put in the let's actually let me take a look at this CSRF search here and look for it. You'll see stuff like this where you add the token um, within the form like this and that will work for post requests but for delete, you actually need to include it in the headers. So that's something I have figured out. So you include the, the token in the headers instead of inline. And, and that's where you pretty much do the same thing, where you inject the token right here, but it's going to go in the headers. And then um, some of the fanciness that I've done here is I've used this HX target closest LI. Now let's go back here and take a look at my template and the way I've set up comments. Um, let's see if we can pull this out and blow this up a little bit. So all these comments right here, we'll add one more. Let's add like a third comment. That'll make it more obvious. So we've got our third comment, and these are all li tags. So if I hover over that, that's an li tag, and that's an li tag. So when I'm using closest li, there's probably a lot of different ways I could have done the selector. Um, th there's lots of different ways for you to target the element you like to delete. But it, in this case, we have a, um, let's keep scrolling here. So we have this comment actions, and we drop this down. And we've got this edit button and here's the delete button that the closest li will always be the li that is the parent of this so this form will always be inside an li tag and so the closest li will be the comment that you're deleting so it seemed pretty um, straightforward to me instead of trying to figure out more fancy selectors let's just target the closest li and delete that Okay, so we're targeting the closest li, that parent li of the um, of the delete form, and then you can add this little hx confirm, and that allows you to populate, um, like when the little model pops up, uh, you can have it say something like, "Are you sure you want to delete this comment?" And that's where when we actually hit delete, let's delete this one. You see how it says, "Are you sure you want to delete this comment?" and I would say this is not super ideal in that it would be kind of cool if we had a custom mod, uh, model and it matched the theme of the site. But if you're just trying to get this working, um, 
I think this is a good first step where just use the native uh, browser model for, um, or yeah, the native browser way of showing messages. So we hit okay and it, it deletes it just like we did before. Um, and then we have, yeah, it ends up having a button and you click submit and it will submit the form. And I guess from here, why don't we take a look at the view so you can um, kind of see how this is working. And the way HTMX works is you send a request to a view and the view will usually return an HTML fragment. But in this case, the view is not going to return an HTML fragment um, since we're deleting. And here's my comment delete view. And if we go to our URLs, um, here's comment delete view, and here is the name comment delete. So when you reference a view name, it will call that view um, within your URLs. And that's why in this comment item, we are calling comment delete, and this will call the comment delete view. And here in comment delete view, it receives the request and it's specifically looking for delete. When you do a def delete, you are specifically saying you're looking for the um, the delete, um, re a request of type delete. I think I probably even have um, examples in here where we do def like post. Do I have a or def get? I might not have ones that do that. This might be the only override that I do. Okay, so let's go back to this def delete, delete. So if if you were sending a request that was of type post, you would do def post or def get, def put. All the um, HTTP request types match, um, and this is sort of an override where um, Django knows if you do def delete that it's going to receive when a delete request comes through, this will kick off this function. And the first thing we do is get the comment based on the comment ID. Uh, we delete the comment. And then I put this um, logic in here where it's saying if the request is coming from HTMX, so if we actually use HX delete, let's just return an HTTP response of 200 and say comment deleted successfully. Um, otherwise, um, redirect to the post detail URL. And this is kind of the logic I have set up for now because, um, I don't know, I think there's other ways a comment could be deleted either from the admin page or somewhere else. And what I typically have done before I was using HTMX is I redirected to the post detail page and that would do the page reload. So until I've really nailed down that HTMX is the only place where comment delete is going to be called, I have this sort of conditional logic. Um, and the self.request.htmx will um, will work as long as you have the HTMX um, library installed. So why don't I open a new tab here? And if we do um, like pip list, I should have uh, Django HTMX, I think is what it's called. Yeah, Django HTMX. You want to make sure this is installed and this allows you to do things where each request, if it's coming from HTMX, gets this HTMX property that you're able to inspect. Um, and then why am I calling 200? Well, if you go back to the docs and we take a look at HX delete, um, it says here to remove the element following a successful delete, return a 200 status code with an empty body. If the res server responds with a 204, no swap takes place. So um, you want to make sure you return a 200, even though it, it might seem like you want to return like a 204 or something else that implies a delete. But the HTMX docs say return a 200 um, if you actually want to delete an element. Uh, all right, so we return that 200, comment deleted, and this is an empty response in that we're not sending any HTML in this request, all it's getting is a status and a reason. And um, yeah, that is going to be it. I guess I can show you if, um, I can just hit a breakpoint here and I can show you it working. 
uh, let's see. So we got this third comment, we hit delete, and then OK. And yeah, we hit this breakpoint, and um, it's getting ready to return the status. So if I just hit play, it will go through. It's returned the status 200, and the comment's been deleted, and now um, there are no comments here anymore. All right, so that is comment deletion, and I hope that was useful. I'm sure you can use this video to delete other things besides comments. Um, I really like HTMX, and I hope you do too. All right, have a great day.